How's it? Today is Wednesday, December 30th. It's my last power clean workout of the year. I don't know if you can see that text, but I was tasked with doing some EMOMs today. I hated it. <laughs> it was really hard. Yeah, so basically, he gave me a bunch of options about how I was feeling. He said, do six to eight EMOMs between 110 and 115 and if I was feeling good then maybe do three imams with 1 plus 2 instead of 1 plus 1 I was not feeling good so I stuck with the lowest range lowest end range possible so I did six imams of 1 plus 1 at about like 111 112 because I can't do 110 so at 245 pounds yeah, it was hard. I was not super happy with the, how my my weights moved. I was not super happy with the positions. Some of them did hurt my, my upper back a little bit. But, you know, I made it out alive. I'm not dead. So, that's positive. Honestly, like warming up, I thought that getting to 245 for a single power clean was going to be a challenge. But I had to do six of them in six minutes. So <laughs> I, I honestly like I just felt way um, out of my league, like um, or at least that weight was way out of my league, and I didn't know how to prepare for that, like mentally. This is 235. This is my last normal set. Everything after this is just that six minute imam. I probably should have just viewed it as one big video and then sped it up to prove that it was an imam, but I ended up stopping the video each time. So, that clean was um, pretty good. That jerk was pretty bad. I think as time went on, my technique kind of just got worse and worse. There was a rep, I think it was the fourth one, it might have been the third one, that I did like a, a squat, like a like a half squat, because I just didn't get it high enough. And um, yeah, I can't complain hard enough, I guess. These are all just very hard. I talked to Josh afterwards, and, and Josh is um, the guy from Boston. Here's the one that I, I did that squat. I talked to Josh about afterwards, and and he was saying like basically when when he's doing the imam, he doesn't even think about anything other than the minute and just going through the motions. Oh, that's the squat. That was way worse than the fourth one. So I thought that fourth one was a squat, but yeah, that was pretty bad. Here's my last one. My last one, I took the most amount of rest. And, you know, that this is literally only half of my workout. But I'm happy that I was able to actually not fail, at least the overhead portion of it. <laughs> and so after that, I did some touch and go sumo deadlifts, trying to keep that same. Um, torso position that Steve was mentioning so he said kind of try to keep your chest up first chest then knees I think he said or is it chest then then, then hips I don't quite remember um, in any case I just ended up doing five pounds more than I did last week I intended to actually just do the same as last week but I went from my first jump to second jump 275 to 285 which was not intentional that was an accident and so that ended up giving me 305 instead of 300. These are not particularly easy, but I can't say that they're super hard either. But, yeah. Uh, I, overall, like I think today's workout was a fun one. Like This is not an exercise that I normally do. Like This is the second time I did it. And so when... I think about imams is and this. These are two things that I don't.
quote-unquote train. It's a part of my training, but it's not something that I have had time to progress on. I don't think I would like to include imams in the future, so there's that, and I, I, I think that days could have a place in my programming because it, it is teaching me a little bit better positioning from the ground and to keep tension as I move through the range of motion. But after that, I do some less intense stuff, otherwise known as accessories. Some rows, um, a 100 pound overhead dumbbell walk, dumbbell overhead walk, which I haven't done since maybe August, since my last time being home. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that I was able to do this especially given how my elbow has been you know, like it's kind of an afterthought at this point but it's still something that did happen and I'm happy that I'm able to do it so it's on my left arm right so this is the left arm and no real issues that prevented me from from continuing the exercise and then after that I just did some back extensions real easy I think that Steve did want me to include some weighted back extensions as the new program starts. Just because the way that I have been holding the snatch has been less than ideal. And so if I had better strength through my lower back and my hamstrings and everything, then it would be a little bit easier overall. But yeah, today was a fun one. Um, that takes us to the end. So... Thank you for watching. Shoots.